I'm CJ with Starter Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build this really cool DIY shiplap fireplace on Starter Builds. So back to what I was saying. Well, what is up, guys? CJ here with Starter Builds, and in today's video, I'm going to be replacing this ugly, I guess it's not ugly, but this very simple, I don't know what you call that, media center here i'm gonna actually be building one of those shiplap tall fireplace tv wall mounted things you see them online i'm actually going to use anna white's plans for this i ordered the same fire insert that she had so we're going to be removing all of this stuff here hiding up these cords and then just giving a lot more better presentation so stay tuned for the rest of the video i'll have a link down in the description below to the plans the tools as well as some tips and tips and tricks that you might want to follow as you're thinking about this but Let's get into the build. There's Mildred. What are you doing? Say hello, Mildred. There's Zoe. You'd think with an air filter like that, it would uh, air purifier, collect some of that dust. Nevertheless, uh, next thing I'm gonna be doing is actually going in using a stud finder, finding where my studs are at, and then I'm gonna be building two different frames. There's a ton of these videos online if you're looking for more in-depth tutorial on how to do this, or you could follow the plans below provided by Anna White. Um, but essentially, I'm going to find the studs, start to build out the framing, attach that to the studs, build your secondary framing. My fireplace should be getting delivered today. I'm waiting on the good old Amazon truck. So once I have that, I'll have a little bit more clarity. And then I do need to run to the good old Lowe's or Home Depot to get my shiplap. Um, and then from there, we'll just kind of put everything together. The goal is to complete this in a weekend. However, we all know how DIY projects go. You start it, something comes up, whether it's family related or whether you just don't have the, the grit to complete it. So fingers crossed I can knock this out because this is my, my main living room here where I like to enjoy a lot of good movies. It's Halloween time, next week is Halloween. So would love to watch some scary movies, um, but we'll see how it goes. As long as Mildred doesn't get in my way, we'll be good to go. CJ here from Stutter Bills, and I'm currently working on this DIY shiplap fireplace. You've seen them all over the internet, all over Instagram, all over YouTube. I'm specifically following plans from Anna White. They're super DIY friendly. I've pretty much built out my, my framing here, and I've inserted my fireplace. I'm still trying to figure out what is the best approach, leaving it in while I put the shiplap up or taking it out and then cutting around it, which I'm still debating, but so far we have everything set up. Uh, to get ready for the shiplap from there. We'll add the trim and then we'll paint it. So stay tuned for the rest of the build So far very DIY friendly just two by fours and a little bit of framing making sure everything's square But very very DIY friendly As you can see fall is upon us here in little old Ohio but let's go into the shop here and take a look at what we're working on currently. We're still working on this DIY. Sorry, my shoes just fell off my feet. Working on this DIY shiplap fireplace. <clears throat> and I've got the shiplap here. This stuff's actually relatively expensive. These are eight foot, eight foot or eight foot long, five and a half feet wide shiplap boards are about nine bucks at Lowe's currently in the process of painting them black that's just what I think will look the best um, I'm actually scuffing these up with 220 to get a little bit of better adhesion to to the paint um, I'm using some leftover Sherm Williams uh, paint here um, you can find this at, at Lowe's um, 
I don't remember what the specific color is, but I'll have it linked down below. I use this for the accent wall downstairs in my basement. I'll have that video linked down below, but stay tuned. I'm going to be priming these and painting these, and then we're going to be getting them attached. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where we're at in the process here. So stay tuned and I will get these primed and ready to paint. And then from there, we're going to start cutting them and assembling them. built the entire structure from the ground up by following Anna White's DIY plans. There's tons of plans and resources online to make this simple design. But essentially what I need to do now is get the width of my TV mount, understand how far across that is, and then I'm gonna put two vertical two by fours from this middle bar here up to the top. That is where I'm gonna be able to drill in my TV mount um, and be able to securely fasten my TV to the front of the shiplap here. And then I'm also gonna need some type of horizontal one too um, for my mantle as well. So stay tuned, I'm gonna go in the other room now and we're gonna attach the mounting hardware for this TV bracket. I think I picked this one up from Meyer. Uh, it's just a local store by me. It's a RCR one, it was 40 bucks. Um, so let's do that. All right, gang, we got the studs in for the TV, and now I'm just waiting on the paint to dry for the shiplap. Oh, I just tripped over a dog bone. Thanks, Mildred. Man, that hurt, I hate stepping on dog bones like that. But there it is, there it is. Cool. Have the entire frame set up minus the two other support beams for the mantle. But now we're gonna go in and we're gonna to start to frame everything up with that shiplap. I actually went ahead and started painting it. Um, this dark uh, black color here, it's like a grayish black from Sherwin Williams. I'll have a link down in the description below to that paint. I got it from Lowe's. Um, but essentially here, we're gonna start measuring out and getting those cut and getting those brad nailed into the front and the sides. And other than that, um, we're gonna get this project wrapped up sooner than later because the dogs have been watching me do this for about a week now and I'm tired of not being able to watch TV in my living room. So here we go.
All right, gang. It's so friggin' dark in here. The lighting in here is not the best, but we've officially finished this DIY shiplap fireplace. I'm so pumped with how it turned out. We have a little cubby here for remotes and other things like that. We have the fireplace down there, TV up there, the Sonos speaker, the sound bar there too as well. I actually made a little sliding contraption here on the side to remove to be able to access all the cords as well. So super pumped with how it turned out. I will say this is a very DIY friendly project and I'll have plans linked down below to the ones that I followed from Anna White. But as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share with me on Instagram all the cool things that you're building at Starter Builds. Take care. Bye.